So today I'm going to be talking about the physical changes of matter. And there's three different types that the water molecules can change into, which is solid, liquid, and gas. So for the first transformation, which is solid to liquid, the water molecules are stationary as they are solid. So right now they're ice, and so... For example, if you take the ice out of the freezer and set it down like on your table or counter in your kitchen, the water molecules will start absorbing the heat that's in your house and eventually they'll like start vibrating and they will start leaking out and turning into liquid. And so like once they're liquid, like this process is called melting. And so the next process is liquid to gas, and this process is called vaporization. And there's two different, like, processes of the liquid turning into gas inside of the vaporization, which is called boiling and evaporation. So for the boiling part of the vaporization is when, say you have, you put the liquid into a pan and you put it over the stove, Eventually, the heat will start, like, boiling the water, and the water molecules will start absorbing that energy, and they'll start forming bubbles at the bottom of the pan, and they'll start, like, like rising up, and that turns into steam. And that's the boiling process, and the evaporation process is when, let's say you have hot tea now, the water molecules on the surface will start absorbing the heat, in the hot tea and they'll turn into bubbles and they'll start rising. So the difference between evaporation and boiling is that evaporation like occurs on the surface of the liquid and it'll start turning into steam on the top like of the liquid whereas in boiling the like for like the water molecules will start turning into the bubbles at the bottom like in the body of the liquid and then it'll start rising. And so for gas to turn into liquid, like this is like, like the water molecules move a lot and the gas is like, that's the moving. Anyways, so the turn gas into liquid, the process is called condensation. So the water molecules are losing a lot of energy in like the condensation process. So for example, in the shower, like all that steam and gas, like when it hits the mirror, which is like a cold surface, the water molecules turn into liquid because it lost a lot of the heat, which was their energy, so it turns into liquid. And now liquid to solid is when you'll take the liquid, water molecules are losing a lot more energy. Say you like put the water in a, like an ice tray and you put it in the freezer, like the liquid and water molecules will like losing a lot of energy so they can't move as much and then eventually they'll just become stationary and it turns into solid. So those were the three change, physical changes of matter and I hope you guys enjoyed.